Yeah, hi, welcome back everybody. Um, today's topic is going to be about you wanting to achieve something, setting a very high, lofty, noble goal for yourself, and the impact that that could have on the people around you. Let me sort of get into this by sharing a personal story. One of my first entrepreneurial endeavors was a long time ago, it was 2008, and I hooked up with a gentleman who wanted to produce a television show. I had absolutely no experience in television at all, and I was invited to be one of the producers of this show. And he had written, oh gosh, 500, 600 pages more worth of scripts. He had like 12 episodes for an entire season, and it was a very interesting show. Uh, it had sort of uh, racial and cultural underpinnings, um, different ethnic groups, uh, law enforcement, um, people doing right and wrong, um, a society turned upside down. It was a very interesting story. And me being a um, literature graduate student, I said, wow, I, had, I was looking for work. I didn't have any projects on deck. And so I said, sure. I would edit. I would write. I would collaborate with the owner of the project. I started collaborating with um, actors uh, of, of different uh, levels, um, started meeting with uh, radio personalities, started meeting with uh, other producers who were experienced, and just sort of going one step at a time. Um, the whole time this was going on, uh, there was no pay for me, no money. It was sort of just involvement in this project, and... Um, all of this added up to have a really large impact on the people around me. Um, when you get involved in a project that can reach really great heights, that also takes great risk to achieve, both risks and resources and risk and time, it can cause the people around you who might not be, uh, let's call it, energetically tuned to this sort of frequency to become very upset. Uh, the fact of the matter is most human beings are risk averse. This is not a moral judgment. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's neither of those. It's just how we're wired. It goes back 200, 300,000 years to the beginning of our race when we were being chased by saber-toothed tigers and Tyrannosaurus rexes and, you know, the men had to bring home big hunks of meat for the family and, and all that jazz, sit around the fire, you know, stare at the cave wall, that kind of thing. And so those, those instincts are still ingrained in us and uh, in a world where maybe we don't need those instincts as much as we used to do. I haven't been chased by a T-Rex lately. I don't know about you. Maybe you have, but you could live in a weird place with T-Rexes. I don't know. But um, yeah, I just remember on my family uh, the impact that this project had and others I did. Uh, they thought I went crazy. Um, they thought that I was wasting my life. Uh, they would tell me this all the time, and it hurt a lot because these were some of the people I cared about the most. And I thought, well, your family, they're gonna say, hey, go for it, you know, achieve, get it done, do something great. Nah, this is one of my first lessons in entrepreneurship is that when you try to distinguish yourself, when you join a project that if it takes off, will take you to the moon, could bring you wealth, fame, uh, a big house, uh, ability to pay all your bills, anything that you might imagine that that project could be, uh, make a contribution to society somehow, entertain people like a television show, you know, bring people laughs, make them go, wow, that's amazing. It upsets people because, and this is going to suck to say, but it's true. They don't have it in them. They don't want to. It's a choice. We have a little mechanism in our brain. It's a door. And it's a door that either lets fear in, or it blocks fear out. And what people like to pretend is that they have no control over the door. But they do. We all do. We have control over the door. And the way to gain access to control over the door, if you feel like you don't have control over the door, is through things like meditation, relaxation, um, exercise, good diet, all of those things add up in your mind and body to give you sway over whether the door is open or closed. If you have sway over whether the door is open or closed, you'll be able to take on more advanced projects with more sophisticated people that have a greater chance 
of having a higher payoff as well as a higher benefit to society. Those are the two things we want in our projects. We want to get paid, which is fine. Don't ever let anyone tell you, no, that's evil. No, it's not. You're allowed to enjoy the abundance this planet offers. And you want to make sure it's for the highest good of everybody else. So it helps the environment or a, a political cause or a marginalized group of people or a city or you get the idea. So, yeah, to recap, the video is running a little bit long here for this one. To, to recap, um, I shot for the stars. The people around me thought I was crazy. It really hurt my feelings. I was bummed out a lot of the time, but eventually I, lear I learned that, that all those emotions are over there with them on their side of things. It had nothing to do with me. And so if, if you have big dreams and you have big goals, my advice for you, you guys, is go for it. Reach as high as you can reach. Uh, get the people on your side who are for you and not against you. And this is going to sound harsh, but even if it's family, even if it's best friends, don't waste any time indulging in their fear. It's their problem. Thank you very much. Have a great day.